<laughs> Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new sewing magazine flip through. Today we have of course our third flip through of the month and that will be of course uh, Knimo the magazine. If you are interested to see flip throughs from uh, Burda or from Patrones magazine look in the playlist with the sewing magazines here on my channel and please don't forget I, I just want to remind you every time people do forget to give a thumbs up to the video if you enjoy it that will help uh, the video of course uh, to go a little bit higher in the in the ranking here on YouTube and of course that is for me always nice to see that people like to what they are seeing on my channel so please like the video and of course subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and thank you for that so today we have a celebration issue from Knim Mode they are their 55th anniversary and uh, to remind you, Knip Mode is also available, of course, in other countries. They do have uh, all of their patterns also online in, uh, in their webshop. I'll put a link in the video description. And, of course, to celebrate uh, the celebration, <laughs> to mark the celebration, they have a really special cover this time. And they do have some gorgeous illustrations in the, in the magazine this month. Um, I think I'm going to buy another one. This is from my... Um, subscription and did get a little bit uh, damaged but I'm going to buy another one just to use uh, the illustrations you will see them later in the magazine together with the cover to put them in a frame and hang them on the wall I think they are just gorgeous they are really really beautiful um, so let's see what we get this month because it's their celebration uh, issue they asked people on the internet to, st to send them uh, wishes for sewing patterns and people did that and so they chose 10, pa 10, um, 10 people that sent their um, um, you know, wishes for a sewing pattern and they made patterns for those uh, uh, wishes and you get them here in the magazine. Here you can see a, an overview of all the patterns. There are again uh, ch children patterns because they stopped with their um, kids uh, magazine with Knip Kids and uh, they put them now in the in the knit modem. This is one of the gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations from this month. Just beautiful. I wish they they made some, uh, I don't know, nice uh, posters, big ones for the walls and stuff like that. Um, okay, so the first the first pattern is a uh, vintage vibe dress they call it I wish they used a little bit lighter fabric that we could see the details but you can definitely see them here I think this is a really sweet dress and I see this actually you know to make it really sweet with a little bit more uh, wider skirt that you know like a uh, circle skirt or something like that to make it really really sweet <laughs> It has a yoke here in the front and the bust, uh, it has an upper yoke. I'm not so keen about this yoke, but I don't know, it's looking like it's very straight here. But I think it's a, it's a, nice, uh, it's a nice dress. It has a pretty uh, simple pencil skirt. It should have somewhere a zipper, yes. In the side seam here is a zipper and this um, uh, little uh, cap sleeves. I think this is a really pretty, pretty one. I wonder why they did not use something more... I don't know, more happy for the fabric. Again here, I think this is a really pretty dress. Again, I'm not so keen about the, the fabric. I, I find that they, she's, the model is doing a really great job to, 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 to make this an, a happy fabric, but it's really not. It's a little bit dark and gray. And But uh, the dress, so we have the dress and in this dress, in the skirt, there are happening a lot of, there are a lot of seams here. And if I'm not mistaken, underneath here there is a normal bodice and all this overlay here, this is a chiffon, is oversewn. It's a, it's a really, uh, I think it's a really cool um, variation on a normal um, shirt dress. This a lot of volume here. Oh, I, I, used to, I wish they used some more happier fabrics. You know, like this red. You get immediately happy if you see this. Or these pants in pink. <laughs> This is another uh, pattern uh, from their uh, wishes um, uh, patterns. So this is it's a pretty simple uh, pants. I'm not sure if I'm very keen about this um, nylon fabric in really uh, bright pink. 
but this is a great pair of pants and you'll see it later with a little bit of variation this will make a great, uh, great pair of uh, woven pants and of course you'll see it later without the cuff here and probably some different pockets here there are side seam pockets pretty easy here we have a really gorgeous dress this one is made in a viscose cotton and you need to have something a little bit uh, drapey because you have an, a waterfall uh, neckline here which needs to have a little bit of drape of course there are also some pleats here at the waist and I think this would be really is very important to have it um, to have it sit really nicely I I'm not sure how this is supposed to sit the dress although I think I'm not sure if the waist seam must be on the waist because here on the drawing I see the waist getting smaller a little bit higher here but that would, could be really easy um, to uh, adjust I think this is a really pretty dress and then we have here two patterns which um, I'm, I'm not sure what to think about this uh, this is the skirt from this uh, dress I suppose I'm almost sure about it and this is one of those cases you know when uh, the photograph is made in such a way that is disguising something that you are almost thinking you know it's not a very good something is wrong there and I think in this designs both of them I think here the pleats on the front here there are only uh, two they are a little bit more deeper sewn than here but I think this they use here a stretch satin maybe made in an other fabric that would be more forgiven and not this satin would look cool although here as a dress I really wonder how I, and I think there is no video from this as you can see there are one two three four five pleats uh, on one side or I wonder how, how the pieces are looking from this dress. I think I did not even watch it because I'm just going to take the uh, pattern sheets out. I have to already uh, take them out because I did make already something from this. And this will be dress... What dress is this? This is dress 22. Let's take a look. Um, well, as you can see it here, there are a bunch of pleats that they are going to be sewn. But as you can see here as a um, detail they are not sewn all over the belly here and of course this was the wish of, uh, of this lady, I get it. But I wonder how this will really look in real life and uh, uh, here again is a stretch satin used and this is showing everything and I am not sure if this neckline here is sewn or is just uh, supposed to be like um, a draped neckline. But I think, I think it's, it is sewn, this little part here. So it's not real waterfall like in the other one. So this, I, I really have my doubts. I hope somebody else is going to make this in some other fabric than a satin. I'm really curious how, how it's looking. Uh, then we have another wish uh, pattern. Uh, this one here. It's a top. We get some really cool tops in this issue. Uh, this you can definitely make it without this uh, drape thing over the shoulder here. This is uh, inspired by uh, something worn by the Queen of the Netherlands. And as I said, this is a pretty basic shirt with a nice insertion here on the side. And this part here, you get it of course, is a really big piece of uh, pattern. And you can make this drapey thing over the shoulder. They use here an um, embroidered cotton, I think. Which, you know, um, you definitely need to have something with two good sides because when you are pleating this, you will definitely see uh, the back side of the fabric. So it needs to be something that is looking good on both sides. Um, then we have here a wrap top which is made in a cotton wool. Um, it's a sleeveless top. I don't know. There is looking like it's a lot of um, um, volume here happening. So this is something that should be... Uh, but of course made in a cotton wool like this that's okay. So I think the, the fabric is the key in a pattern like this. It needs to be very bulky. I think here is already going the wrong way around because this looks like a lot of 
bulk. This is a um, uh, jacquard tricot, I think if it was a jersey, I think if it was like um, a basic jersey, so just a jersey, and look I have here, of course I'm making this video in my sewing room, if you were to use something like this, this is a really uh, thin sweater knit, I think this would work much better for this design, well sparkle or not, but this having the jacquard in it, so it's a little bit fluffier, it has a little bit more structure, I think it's making this a little bit too, too bulky. But let's go back to this little slip dress here, which I think is a great summer dress. It's very, very pretty. I think this, this is really nice. It's simple, but it's really nice. Although there are no um, darts in this, I wonder how the fit is. But it's a simple spaghetti uh, strap dress. Nice. It has also a zipper on the sides in here. Um, this top again, uh, I'm not sure if it's using the same pieces from the from this one. It might. And it's also wrapping, I think, a little bit wrong. Is that left over right? Yeah, I'm not sure why. Um, so this is, I think, is the similar one, uh, only they added here. Uh, a hood and of course the sleeves but I might be mistaken but it's looking very very much similar to me and again the fabric is the key here especially if these ties maybe they could get a little bit shorter that you don't need to go like two times around your body I think that could also work all right then we have um, they have in this issue a little bit like a cape trend let's say and here we have a dress, which I don't see the drawing of it, maybe further we will see it, I'm not sure where the, where, where the, where the drawing of that one went. Uh, uh, let's see, this is dress number two, and we are going to take a look at dress number two. Uh, that will be this one here. This is dress number two, as you can see it has some gathers on the neckline, really nice, and actually the back the back, there is a front and a back, there are the standard panels and actually you get an extra piece to make like a cape for the back. Um, here we have top number 13 um, and of course the key is that you need to use something very um, light like a viscose or something like that thinking that you get an extra layer on the back and then the cape uh, or the cape, it's not a cape, it's a top, top number 13 this must be really annoying what I'm doing now, but I, I want to see the detail so I know what I'm talking about. Or you know. <laughs> here you have... Should I see here that there is only... Um, I don't see that, you see that? I think this needs to be scanned. It's probably is only as a PDF. And this one too. Oh, let's see. This is one of their uh, free patterns that you can download and this is available till February 2025. So this is the free pattern, although there is nothing here in the magazine, but this is the, f the free pattern for this month and is of course only downloadable as a PDF from their website. Then we have here a dress. This is a really, really, um, I was really, um, attracted by this design because I was thinking how is this constructed. Um, I'm, I'm busy with this dress and I must say that this is a very interesting construction here. Actually there is only, uh, you need to, uh, this is in one piece cut on the fold and then you need to slit it and gather these pieces here and then against the facing that is coming here in the front you have to sew some uh, plastic boning to keep everything in place and on the sleeves, I know you see here three, but there are two pleats on the front and two in the back. And um, I'm, I'm, I cannot wait to show you my version when it's going to be done, because I made some adjustments there. But we'll talk about those at that time. Uh, they say that they used here neoprene, you know, like that um, uh, sponger, I, I think it's more like a crepe, like a crepe, like a scuba crepe or something like that because neoprene, what I know, is really spongy and quite 
thick so I don't think that's really uh, what they used here but something in that matter then you have a, again a really easy to make top I have to take a sip of my coffee we have a top here which is cut doubled and of course that's really cool because you can use something that is almost transparent or something like that so you have two layers for the front, two layers for the back you can see them a little bit here on the side and then you have a side seam panel and that's making it really cool because that, that means that it's not a cut on sleeve like this one which can be quite uncomfortable if it's really low and really much over your shoulder and show everything underneath but this one is actually, this one has actually an inside, an inside, a side, side panel with armhole and everything. So this is a really cool one and it's really easy to make also. Then we have a variation of the dress from earlier. Here they used a stretch stuff, well, stretch fabric they mean, and that's actually a polyester viscose elastane. Yeah. I think I'm going to, because I tried something similar and it's not a very good uh, look on me. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it maybe with a scuba crepe something to see how that's working. Um, here we have the, a little bit of a combination of the uh, top from earlier, you know, the free one. Uh, it's very, this is really beautiful, the fabric is really nice and, you know, if I had a place to go with a sushi dress like this I would. <laughs> I would make it. And you can see it here as an illustration, very very beautiful. We can see here the dress from earlier and you see it actually here you can see also the the drawing. It has elastic in the waist, it has some gathers here up at the shoulders although I cannot really see them here and some gathers at the neckline. I think this is really cute and some side seam pockets apparently. Very beautiful and of course you can cut this and put it on your wall which I'm also going to do but with another one because I want to keep one uh, complete then we have some extra uh, pieces um, you know they have that pattern that every month they give some extra pieces that you can make variations on the same one and I'm not sure which what you get this month but you get some pieces to make this um, designer inspired dress a uh, dress <gasps> blazer I mean little jacket and they also advise that you could make it also in a ponty knit yes definitely we have here all the patterns and we will come back to this in a moment but we are going to take a look at the rest of the pattern first patterns and this is really funny you remember I think in the February issue was that we had uh, so two months ago we had um, the grey trend from Burda, we get this month, of course, the grey trend from Knip Mode. And I must say that this grey is looking a little bit <coughs> happier than the Burda uh, grey. And I think the patterns, they are also great. We have a variation on the red dress from earlier with the waterfall uh, neckline, which is really cool because if you watch here, the waterfall is also coming from those pleats or sewn pleats on the shoulder seam, so it's really really nice with a little bit of a peplum, with some pleats here, you know, it's really definitely um, the top part of the red dress really cool pants with um, front leg with a seam on the front of the leg quite interesting for here they used, what they use for it? Uh, this is not stretch crepe, this is something like a denim this is a cotton denim, what they use for the, for the pants very nice uh, then we have here a t-shirt which is uh, is made in jersey in modal jersey very very easy to make a dropped shoulder very casual and with this on these pieces here there are some variations also then we have pants again this is another pair of pants this is made also in a denim and here you get some uh, nice big pockets on the front and I think there are also some side seam pockets here quite a bit of sewing involved nice oh, let's see what we have here so these are the, this is the free pattern as you can see here it does say that it's free for this one they do have an um, 
tutorial on their website. I think in a top like this, of course, top being really, really, um, the pattern being very, very um, simple, of course, you can use a really bold uh, fabric. <laughs> then we have here, I think this is the skirt part of the dress from earlier that you've seen also the top from it. And um, yeah, now I'm thinking, you know, that I was talking about the. I'm going to take a look here because I see here, that's interesting. I'm seeing here, I'm seeing here a waistband, but I see here no waistband. So I wonder if this is actually, the skirt is finished actually with, uh, let's see, skirt 27. Uh, I wonder if the skirt is finished actually with a facing or it's finished with, uh, let's see, yeah, I don't really see that. Uh, I really don't see the facing in this, so I suppose that this is a little bit of a mistake because there is no, there is no, um, I don't see the, the, the waistband in this. So, you know, if you are interested in this skirt, look first because uh, from what I see here is actually this is uh, finished with a, with a facing on the inside. I really don't see the waistband. And then we have this little shirt here, which is looking really, really interesting. And I made two of these ones with a little bit of modifications to make it with long sleeve for the, um, you know, for the colder days that we have now. And I used for mine, they used here uh, just a jersey, a viscose jersey. And I used for mine a sweater knit. And you will see it is looking really, really cool. And actually it's a very, very easy uh, thing to make. Also on this one I made some, some fits changes. The same In the same area you have the top from here. This one is using I think the same back. So if you have, if you make one of these and you get the fit right, then of course you can variate uh, with uh, all of them. This one is also very easy uh, to make. It's, with, uh, it's looking like a twist, but I suppose the whole panel is just getting twisted. Also made in a jersey. Uh, then we have some uh, uh, corduroy pants. They are the same ones as uh, the denim ones from earlier. Not so much to say about those. <laughs> then we have here a variation on the pink pants that I said earlier, you know. Here they um, added some uh, cargo pants uh, style pockets on the side and they left the um, elastic from the bottom uh, away. So you have a totally uh, different uh, looking pair of pants. I am pretty sure this must be a variation on the Raptor from earlier. Here it does uh, a wrap uh, from right over left, as it should be. And I really wish they gave us a picture with this, uh, without the, you know, just worn simple. Here is the same combo, but also here is tied up. So I cannot really see how far these are uh, falling. So here is the same pair of pants, only this. Uh, of course, obviously, there are different uh, different fabrics. Then we have a really um, a simple design, but actually really, really pretty. A skirt and a dress combination. Uh, again, I, I start to... I, I wish this, they should stop with all these drop shoulder things. Um, you know, put some setting sleeves or something like that. I, I found that on my body at least, I need to take quite a bit to, to lift up these uh, shoulder seams because otherwise they start to be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, for the rest, for the rest we have, uh, so this one is made in a cotton poplin. I think it will work also nicely in a viscose or something like that, but you should definitely keep in mind that with all the, with the way that the thing is cut, the skirt is going to show the inside of the fabric. And then we have it here. And this is really, really pretty. This one is made also in a uh, printed cotton. They say printed cotton. I'm not sure what kind of cotton it is. Um, it must be something that 
you need to have something with the flow and I think in a viscose it would work even better. Then we have uh, the same as earlier is one of the tops but here really really simple with just a simple sleeve. They left the under seam unsewn, just make a little hem. It's looking quite different but you know if you don't like it you can always just sew it up but then you have just a basic t-shirt. You could always play with the sleeve. This is a really great um, base top because again if you have this fitted you can change it and adjust it and add the details to it and make it something really really fun. Uh, the pants from earlier, they do have quite a bit of uh, leg here, width, I think I would like them to be just a little bit more, more tapered. Oh, this is so gorgeous, this, I, I wish they did this every month. The top here, I really like it, this one is made in a satin, beautiful, I, I love everything about it. The fabric is nice, all these splits are really like, even from the picture they are looking like they are 3D, very very nice. And then we get to the children's um, patterns, of course, I, I'm almost 100% that these are repeats from their um, uh, children's magazine from earlier. Uh, again, for me, the time has passed that I could sew for my kids from, from uh, the children's sizes. Well, still, but they are not so much into these styles. Just going to flip through those. I think I made something similar for Lisa when she was younger. This is a really nice sweater shirt dress. Uh, it does have a zipper here in the back, but I think when made in a something in a sweatshirt or a French dairy or whatever, I think you really don't need to have that zipper in the back. Um, this is a little bit of a variation on this one, only they added a ribbing band here, the bottom and also at the sleeves. And here again, again, I really don't think that uh, zipper is necessary. Then we have here a really cool uh, denim jacket. And they use for the hood and for the sleeves, they used some uh, quilted fabric. It's making it a little bit warm. And here for the smaller sizes, let's see, this is the same jacket. A really cool pair of pants and a little sweatshirt. And here is the same denim jacket, but in this case they used like a sweatshirt type of fabric for the sleeves and for the hood. Very nice. And I think that's it. Here we see a little bit of a preview from next month. Uh, we see a really cool dress. Here another dress, pants, top. Some other stuff. So we will see that at the beginning of next month. But now... Let's take a look in the middle of the magazine. There are quite a bit of patterns this month. As you can see, they are, they are here a lot. And you have even the kids patterns on the next page. So here are the patterns from this month. I think there is there are some really cool ones. I really love, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? I really like this one. I'm going to try to make this one with the waterfall. Very nice. This one in that satin is looking really beautiful. I. I, I am busy with this dress and I'm really curious how I'm going to, to make it look on me. This one here is a really cool top, as I, made, as I said, I made it as a sweater, very, very nice. I think these pants are nice. And there are, there are quite a bit of patterns this month that I really like, but you know, I don't have the time for everything. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video, I hope you find uh, some inspiration for it. You know, even if you um, are, if you don't sew with clip mode, I think so. Seeing new sewing patterns is always really good for the sewing mojo to uh, inspire and to give us a little bit of a push to to try new things. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel, of course, and like the video. Bye bye, everyone.